Okay, welcome back. I've just kicked Tanya out of the kitchen so I can do these videos and here we go. So, first uh, video on uh, trigon trigonometry and the applications. Uh, how we use applications, um, how we use trigonometry in, in uh, day to day sort of problem solving, um, all, all sorts of things you use trig. Anyway, let's just get started. Um, trigonometry applies to right angled triangles, so they must be right angles. And um, if we have some angle theta, then we have um, the three sides which we label. There's one side which is opposite theta, which we call opposite. There's one side which is opposite the 90 degrees, which is called the hypotenuse. It's always the diagonal, it's always the longest side as well. And the other side that's sort of left over is the adjacent side. It's next to theta. Okay, so there are three sides, and the three ratios that we get are called the sine theta. So for any triangle that has an angle of theta, the will always have the same ratio of two sides, and that ratio is opposite over hypotenuse. We have cos theta or cosine theta, which is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse and we have tan theta which is opposite over adjacent okay so our three ratios there um, and and the, the shortcut to sort of help you remember that is soccer toa soccer toa sine equals opposite over hypotenuse cos equals adjacent over hypotenuse and tan equals opposite over adjacent um, to help you remember those and we can use these to um, solve a bunch of problems. And so uh, let's get into it now. We're just going to have a look at a bunch of different sort of triangle problems and go through them and show you how to use the calculator and all that sort of stuff. Okay, so here we go. Um, and I've forgotten how to do a new page. You want to clear the page, but so I'll just do this. Um, I thought there was uh, a thing. Anyway. I'll oh, just uh, control delete. There we go. Control delete it is. So, for the first example, so I've got some triangle here and 90 degrees. Let's say this is 5 centimeters and this is 21 degrees. And we want to know how long that angle is there. So, we first need to figure out what we've got here. Well, we've got the side that's opposite the angle. So there's our opposite side, and we've also got our hypotenuse up here. So what we want to know is we want to know which of the ratios includes the angle, the opposite, and the hypotenuse. And what it turns out to be is sine. So what we have is the sine of 21 degrees is equal to the opposite side, so the opposite, which is 5, over our hypotenuse side, which is x. Okay, so I've got this situation, and all we need to do now is solve this. Now just remember, this sine 21 here, that's one number there. You can't separate the 21 from the sine, because the sine is, it tells you the ratio of an angle, so it stays together. That's one piece there. So we can swap x and sine 21 directly, so therefore x is equal to 5 over sine 21 degrees, just like that. Okay, so at this point you go to your calculator and make sure that it's set to degrees and so I'll just change mine, mine will be in radians but I'll just change it, so I'll change my document settings so the angle is degrees, okay, there we go like that and then go back into your current, I'll just do a new document just in case it didn't save, just to make sure, um, okay, I will just, just want to check that sine 30 should give me half just to check that it's worked. No, it hasn't worked, so no, I'll just do that again. Document settings. Sorry, guys, not a very good video first up, um, but you'll forget. Oh, well, see, oh, maybe I'm going to add to make it default. I'll just leave that okay. I'll just test that again. Direct the current, try sign 30 by going up, press enter. There we go, right. Okay, so we're in. Um, so, what was the question again? We want 5 over sine 21, so we're going to here, I'll create a fraction, and I'll have 5 on the top line, and I'll go to my trig functions here, and I'll choose sine, I've forgotten the angle, it was sine 21 degrees, 
Because we're in degrees, we don't need to write degrees or anything like that. We press enter and it gives us that, of course. Thank you very much, calculator. Press um, approximate and you get 13.95. So, equals 13.95. Because the question had centimeters here, the answer is in centimeters. So that's how long x is. Okay, nice and easy does it. Uh, let's do another example. Something like this. And let's say we're looking for this angle theta, and we know, uh, let's say this is 6 meters here, and this is, I don't know, it doesn't matter, is that 2.3 meters down here. Okay, so what is this angle here? So what we're looking for is we know the opposite. We've got the opposite of the angle that we're looking for, and we've also, I'll just label that opposite, and we've also got our adjacent down here. So, which ratio includes the opposite and the adjacent? We've got tan, so it'll be tan theta equals opposite, which is 6, over the adjacent, which is 2.3. Okay, so um, I might just evaluate that. 6 divided by 2.3. Oh, no, let's just do it in one go. Because you've got the calculators now, it's much easier. So therefore, theta is equal to, to get rid of this tan, you need to apply the inverse of tan, which is tan negative 1. Okay, so to get this tan over the other side, it's tan negative 1 of 6 over 2.3. And we'll put that into our calculator. Into your calculator, we want tan negative 1. So you look for it, it looks like this here, tan negative 1. I've got my numbers already, 6 over 2.3. So again, put your fraction in there, 6 over... 2.3, press enter, and you get 69.03. Equals 69.03 degrees, because it's going to give our answer in degrees. Okay, so there's your answer there. So nice and simple. That's basic. That's basically trig right there. Okay. Um, I just Cam asked a, a good question, and I just wanted to show you this example. It's one in the book. I think it was question twelve or something like that, where you've got um, a, a pendulum. Okay. So I'll sort of draw it like it's in the book. This is question twelve, and you've got this pendulum which sort of swings between here and here. So it's a, I don't know, a stone or something like that on a piece of rope. And you've got 90 centimetres here on this side and on this side, and it swings by 15 degrees either way. Okay, so that there is 15 degrees. Um, okay, uh, do we know anything else? No, we don't. But what we want to know, what the question asks for, is it asks for the difference in height here. So I'm just going to draw this dotted line here. I should have drawn it a bit bigger to make it a bit more obvious. But what we want is this distance here. It says the difference in height. So when it swings out to its furthest point here, and when it's at the bottom of its sort of swing here, uh, we want to know the difference in height. So that little distance x there. Now, because this is 90 centimeters here, it's the same piece of string. This piece here is also equal to 90, right there. Okay. So this last little, uh, I guess, section, or here. Let's just make a triangle here, because to you, remember to use trig, we need to have uh, right angle triangles. Um, so that looks a bit silly now, but um, if, if that whole length there is 90. So how long is just this section here? Can you see where my cursor is? How long is just this part here? How long is that? Okay. So I'll draw the triangle that we're actually going to use to measure this. Um, how long is that red line I've drawn there? Well, from there down to here is equal to 90, but it's x shorter than that. So this length of this line here is 90. Oh, I'm going to run out of space. I'll just do that again. That length there is 90 minus x. Okay, that length there. And this line, uh, length here we don't need to know at the moment because I'll show you why in a second. So we have this length here. We have this length here, and we know this angle in between, it said in the question that that is 15, so we can go forward. Whenever you have an angle that's between two sides, that's always cos. So what we're going to get is cos of 15 degrees 
is equal to adjacent. Our adjacent side is 90 minus x over the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is 90. So there's the setup. Now we just need to solve this guy. Okay, so times both sides by 90, and you get 90 minus x equals 90 cos 15. Therefore, I'll subtract 90 from both sides, so I'll get negative x equals 90 cos 15 degrees minus 90. And uh, now that I've done that, I'll just times by negative 1, so x equals negative 90 cos 15 plus 90. Okay, so there we go. That's what x will be equal to. Let's just shove that into our calculators. So, negative, negative 90 cos 15, oh, I remember, I forget it by the time I get here. What was it again? See, I've already forgotten. Negative 90. So, negative 90 cos, what was it again, guys? 15, it was 15, wasn't it? That's right, cos 15, it knows it's in degrees, uh, plus 90. So, go outside of the brackets, and go plus 90, and press enter. Oops, I should have gone to control enter, uh, to give my approximate. And it's 3.07 to two decimal places. So we've got 3, 3.07. The question was in, we stayed within centimetres, so it's centimetres. So that's the difference between this height there and that height there. And there you go, that's trigonometry.